from ExcelMasterSeries.com. Today we're going to create an interactive Excel chart graphing the binomial distribution's probability density function. This distribution has two parameters, the number of trials, n, and p, the probability of success in one trial. Let's vary those parameters and watch the changes be reflected in the interactive chart. Changing number of trials from 80 to 40 moves the chart to the left. And changing probability of success in one trial from 0.7 to 0.3, 30%, moves the chart a little bit more to the left. Now let's put our original numbers back in there, 0.7 and 80 trials, and we'll get our original chart. So that's what we're creating, an interactive Excel chart just like that. And the first step is to create the data for the X and Y axis. Let's go do that right now. Well, let's take a look at that data. First, we'll take a look at the formula for the y-axis, probability density function. Put the cursor right on that cell. Click on it. And that's the formula that goes into that cell. It's an if-then-else statement. We're going to drag that formula down. And you see the red false there. That indicates we're dealing with the probability density function. If it were red true, that would be the cumulative distribution function. Now let's create the x data. First cell is 0. Second cell equals the preceding cell, that 0, plus 1. And we're going to drag that formula down. Do that by putting the cursor in the cell and then putting the cursor in the corner till that x appears and drag the cell down as far as you like and then release it. And there you have your x-axis data, just like that. We're going to do almost the same thing for the y-axis data. First, let's take a look at the inputs for that formula. If we click on that precedence button in Excel 2003, we see the inputs are the two user inputs and the x-axis data, as it should be. Now we remove that blue color. We don't want to drag the color down. And we're going to drag that cell down the same way. Put the cursor on the cell and in the corner. Click on it, drag it all the way down as far as you need it, and release it. There you have your x, y axis data. The zeros are caused by the if-then-else statement. You need to know how to use if-then-else statements if you want to be an Excel statistical master. Very powerful type of Excel statement. Now, next step is to create the chart. Pretty easy to do. Let's do that right now. So, what we want to do is put the cursor anywhere you want. Just click in any old cell. And go up and hit Insert. This is Excel 2003 insert chart and it's an area chart first variation and hit next the data is in columns so select columns now let's put in the first series of y data so add the first series of y data and we have to put in the y data label and that will be probability of s successes in n trials if p equals the probability of success in one trial and we're dealing with the probability density function, so it's the probability of exactly S successes. If it were the cumulative distribution function, it would be the probability of up to S successes. And the probability density function is typically, in this case, bell-shaped. Okay, so we get that label typed in there. And we're now going to put in the values for that y-axis data. So we go in that square and delete what's in there right now, and then hit that little red square in the corner. We'll go down and highlight all the y-axis data. Drag down and highlight it. Once you get done that, go up and hit the square in the dialog box. puts the data into the graph. Let's do the same thing for the x-axis data. Hit the square, go there, and highlight all of the x-axis data. And once you've done that, go up and hit the square in that little dialog box up there like that puts the x-axis data in there. We're going to go next and put the chart, the correct chart title in there, which would be binomial distribution probability density function. And you can see when you type it in, it gets reflected right in the chart immediately. And the x-axis data, that's S, which is successes, S successes and N trials. Okay, just put an S there. Hit next and Graph is completed. Finish. So let's drag our graph up there and put it over the top of the existing graph. And check out the interactivity to see if we have made it correctly. So put the new graph right up on top of the old graph. Size it a little bit there. And 
and then let's go change the parameters and see what happens to the graph. See if we've done it correctly. Change 80 down to 40. Okay, enter, moves the graph to the left, 0.7 down to 0.3. And we'll put our original numbers back in there. Put the 80 back in there and the 0.7 for probability of success in one trial back and get our original chart. Okay, there we go. We've done it correctly. If you would like to master MBA level statistics in Excel, check out our Excel Statistical Master Series of eManuals at www.excelmasterseries.com slash eManual.php. Thank you very much and goodbye.